C'est trop calme. It's just too quiet. Yeah, a whole week now and not a peep out of old lobster lips. It's not natural. I'm getting a willy dee. Yeah, we all are, bro. Of course, some of us are handling it a tiny bit better than others. <sighs> My turn to spackle. Been watching this old mouse again, huh, bro? And now we have behind door number one. Oh, I can't take it anymore. I need to whip some tail. Hey, hey, chill, adrenaline mouse. At least this brake's giving Charlie a chance to give the bikes their 20 million mile tune up. Okay, okay, listen, listen. What say we just go bust up a few goons? Even one. Please, maybe even just kick their tires. Oh, yeah, he's in bad shape. Bros, bros, let's think. Look, look, if, if it's this quiet. Perch Puss must be up to something, right? Well, if he is, isn't it our born duty as heroes, heroes, to put him on ice? Hmm, he does have a point. Well, there you go. Let's rock. Whoa, whoa, now, wait a minute, Vincent. Charlie said our bikes weren't ready yet. Oh, she's just a perfectionist. Besides, it sounds ready to me. Makes sense. I'm in. Well, at least we'll find out what Lindbergh is up to. And, uh, we are running out of spackle. Cover a hero's handbook, sweetheart. We're gonna whip us some Butarki in tail. <laughs> Wait, guys, no! Come back! Oh, I haven't put the weapons back in your fires yet. Awful quiet. But then again, is there still a ghoul or two left in Shy Town after all? Yeah! Well, I guess warm up's over. My blood pressure's starting to rise. Oh, it's my turn, Chucklehead. What? Where's my lasers? Whoa! Huh? Hey, I got no grappling hook. Chain shot. Not. Hey. Oh, mama. Our bikes are only half big. And we're about to get frosted. and no fish to scale. Man, looky here. Limburger left a little treat behind for us. Heads up, Rose! Hmm. Bet your guppy guts is in the lab. Not the goodies beaming out of Carbuncle's transporter. No wonder Chubhead's not around. He's out stripping ore from somewhere else. Oh, no! Caught in a deadly crossfire. <laughs> what could be finer? Your weapon 
things aren't working. Yep, nothing gets by her. those double root beers and hot dog smoothies. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I better get your bikes battle ready. I wonder where those goons are. I wonder where we are. Wherever we are, it looks like Limburger's been doing the landscaping. It's the same stuff that was pouring out of the transporter. Yo, bros, check this out. Cool, you found a way to pack our battle armor. Uh, I did manage to complete a few of my improvements for the new model year. They were supposed to keep you out of trouble. Hey, duh, we're heroes. We live for trouble. <laughs> Man, that transporter must have dumped us onto some planet of giant refrigerator magnets. I don't know. They look more like a... Angry refrigerator magnets. Behold their wheeled steeds. They must be in league with the evil Baron. You metalheads are making a big mistake. Fights well. Uh, what are you calling a witch? Oh. Oh, men. Well, I guess these citizens still want more. Uh. The dragon coming! Dragon? That well, looks more like your basic Plutarchian backhoe to me. I fear no man or beast. Swords? Dragons? You know, if I didn't know better, I'd swear we were back in the middle. Lancelot, come back! Lancelot? Oh my gosh, I knew it! We've got to save him. You mean you know that walking piece of aluminum siding? Those guys are knights. This is the Middle Ages. We've gone back in time. All right, then that calls for tactic XXI. Come on, bros. Hey, but you heard him. I'm a fighting kind of wench. Oh, great. See you at the next wench fight. Well, looky, lookies. It's one of them moving sardine cans. Say nighty night. Night. Huh? Oh, nuts. Where'd them mouses come from? Fly by. <laughs> hey, ever see a dragon fly off a cliff? <laughs> I find have a nice swim. Fire <laughs> rockets, bros! Oh, no. Mama, guess these babies needed a little bit more time up on the rack. <laughs> They could pay to work like a charm, boss. Them mousies is now drowned like water rat. <laughs> He's just gonna hate himself in the morning. Hey, Lublitz. <clears throat> Thanks for the lift. All right, you smart pieces. This time, no more Mr. Nice School. <laughs> oh, why? Do I surround myself with the evolutionally challenged? Come on, let's go change his oil. Now it seems first we gotta beat the neighbors. Oh man, do we have to whip these ten men again? All right, press, but one more step. You've the honor of having saved my life, warrior. Oh, right, it's, uh, it's what I do. Are you really the Sir Lancelot? As in King Arthur? We are his knights of the round table. At your service, my fairest of ladies. I regret to see the dragon ate your clothing. What? Oh. <laughs> hey, Lance, keep your mind on your horse. You warriors have slain the dragon who devours our countryside. We must celebrate. You shall accompany us to Camelot. Camelot? 
honest, boss. It wasn't my fault. Grease pit, you're dripping on the tapestries. Uh, show me, boss. Uh, let me use this big towel here to dry off. Mm. That's a little scratchy, but who's got towels like the dunes anyway? Mm. <laughs> Say, boss, when do you think we can go back to Chicago? Not till we've completed this aggravating assignment, you petroliferous pinhead. Unfortunately, Plutarch requires the purest form of tin ore, which exists only in this dreadfully damned ancient England. No. Even their worms leave a nasty aftertaste. Good news, your heart-clogging creaminess. The time transporter's automated repair systems have been engaged to undo the mice's damage. Excellent. And as for those rodents, it was an inevitability that they would follow me back here. But there's something I brought back into time with me that they didn't. An extremely unpleasant aquatic odor? No, my dear deviated lip doctor. Gasoline. There are no petrol stations or oil refineries in ancient England. So eventually the mice will quite simply run out of fuel. <laughs> My liege Arthur, Lord of all England, Queen Guinevere, I present the noble slayers of the dragon and the Lady Charm. <laughs> Remove your helmets and bow in the presence of the King and Queen. That's probably not a good idea. You must heed the lore of the realm. Hope they got their seatbelts fastened. Oh, oh, don't be afraid. These three brave warriors have a, been put under a, a, an evil spell. Spell? Spell my tail! <laughs> They've been transformed into giant mice. Oh, what a terrible fate. There's nothing terrible about this, bud. Good Merlin, as royal wizard, have you no potion with which to reverse this enchantment? Uh, by Jove's stuff, I shall try my lord. Strange. I, I spent a fortnight squeezing this stuff out of little blue elves. Yes, uh, no matter, Merlin. Enchantment or no, they have slain the rampaging dragon and thus are our honored guests. I decree a grand banquet. Yeah! <laughs> Bring on the root beer! Root beer? What is this root beer? Oh, man, this really is the Dark Ages. Well, Carbuncle, is the transporter operative yet? Oh, oh soon, your tofuritude. Excellent. <laughs> and to that end, your chief's crumminess, the drilling probes have located the largest concentration of pure tin in all of England, under the castle known as Camelot. Camelot? Oh, how deliciously devilish. The ore that must be gone lies in one perfect spot. For after we get through with it, there'll, there'll be, be no Man, this is biker heaven. Yeah, buddy. Man, these are some rude, crude dudes. Uh, My kind of guys. What is this stuff? Old gym socks? You got any root beer? Root beer, soil? Oh, I'd never even heard of such a beverage until you arrived. Yeah, well, come on, Cookie. We're going to the royal kitchen. We got work to do. Gross. This is not quite the way I pictured a banquet at Camelot. Oh? Uh, why is that? Oh, I don't know. Most amazing. How does this strange steam move, eh? Substitutionary locomotion spell number seven. Same diff. Internal combustion engine. Using gasoline for fuel. Oh, stupid dress. Gasoline? Yeah, and we're almost out. Say, you wouldn't have any we could siphon, would you? Ah, oh, alas, not. But I am well versed in alchemy. Perhaps I can mix a hogshead of this. Mm, gasoline. 
Seems such a common name. It shall be called Sarsaparilla after Guinevere's mother. That should silence the old dragon. I see. Then he's making friends and influencing people as usual. I hereby declare this contest to be a draw. What? What? Double or nothing, pretty boy. Come on, Vincent. We have more important things to do, like finding Limburger. Hey, lords and ladies, I beg to announce the arrival of the Baron of Munster, Lord Limburger. <laughs> accompanied by his wizard, Chester, and Sir Gris de Pitt, the Duke of Oil. Well, well, bros, guess who's sneezing to dinner? You dare enter Camelot, Limburger? You, whose dragons ravage our land? Oh, my. Not quite the gracious welcome I'd imagined. But... Perhaps you're overwrought due to an obvious infestation of vermin. Uh, possibly my wizard can help you exterminate them. Take your best shot, Wiz. All in good time. <laughs> State your business, Baron Limburger, then be gone. But of course, your kingship. As part of my, um, how that never policy. I'm prepared to make you a generous offer for a certain burdensome parcel of real estate, namely Camelot. Duke. Oh. You presumptuous mountebank. Camelot is not to be bargained for like Dale Johns. Oh, 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 sire, you wound me to the quick. My honor must be avenged. Ergo. I challenge your knights to a jousting match. Uh, here, boy, said you drop this. <laughs> I propose the stakes of the joust be modest. Say, Camelot. Don't do it, your majesty. This stinkfish doesn't play fair. And us, a challenge is a challenge. And the rules of chivalry demand that a tournament be arranged. Excellent. Then let the massacre <clears throat> tournament begin. I shall wear this for good luck, my lady. I knew it. Those charges are choppers. We'll nail these knights for you, King A. We need no help, my liege. Advance. <laughs> this is like shooting fishies in a bu uh, uh, Sorry, boys. Oh, impertinent idiot. Still, one must guard against the ugly possibility of fair play. Carbuncle. Ah, yes. We know what to do, your milk goodness. Sir Lancelot! Oh. My, my, what a stunning upset. Kindly affix your seal, and Camelot will be mine. Wrong, Barracuda, but it, it ain't over till the fat fish squeals. But, but I must protest. They're not knights, they're mice. This is a most serious breach of protocol. They're honorary knights. You hear that? The second team, buddy. The biker knights of the round table. Easy on the gas, guys. Sounds like Merlin's not having much luck cooking up our refills. I'll wear this for luck, doll. <laughs> what tail, guys? For Camelot! Indeed, with this thou tail, yes. Sundials. It's time for nightfall. Let those prehensile pests waste their precious petrol. Oh, bah! Win or lose, Camelot will nevertheless be mine. Time for our care capacity.
offensive maneuver 12. Yeah! Rock on! <gasps> Uh-oh. Carbuncle and Grease Pair gone. Limburger's up to something. <clears throat> and I'd better find out what. Man, I really miss my jeans. Well, Baron Limburger, it appears our fortunes have reversed. Ah, but your majesty, appearances can be ever so deceiving. Oh, Mama, these knights are robots. I'm definitely taking this up with the Union.